Hello and welcome. In this video I explain to you what dummy variables are and how you can easily create them online. And we get started right now. Let us first talk about categorical variables. In a regression model, categorical variables with two characteristics can be used as independent variables, also called predictors. Categorical variables are either nominal or ordinal variables. Categorical variables with two expressions are also called dichotomous. An example would be gender with the categories male and female. Let's say you coded female as zero and male as one. In that case, female would be the reference category. If we now look at the regression equation and say the variable x1 is gender, then b1 is the regression coefficient for gender. So the question now is, how can we interpret b1? We said that 0 is female and 1 is male, so we just put that in. Then we have 0 times b1 for a female person and 1 time b1 for a male person. Accordingly, b1 indicates the difference between male and female. Let's say in this example we want to predict the income of a person, so y would be our income. If a person is male, this person earns more by the amount of b1 than a woman. Therefore b1 is the salary difference between men and women. Now we have discussed how to handle variables with two characteristics. Now let's take a look at what we do when we have a variable with more than two characteristics. Let's look at an example. In this example we want to predict the fuel consumption of a car based on its horsepower and the vehicle type. And let's say there are only three vehicle types, sedan, sports car and family van. Thus we have a variable vehicle type with more than two characteristics. In a regression, however, we can only consider categorical variables with two characteristics. Therefore the question now is, what should we do? In order to use categorical variables with more than two characteristics in a regression model, we have to create dummy variables. This means that we simply create three new variables. Each new variable has two characteristics. These characteristics are 0 and 1 or yes and no. So in our example we have our vehicle type with the characteristics sedan, sports car and family van. Now we create one new variable out of each characteristic. So this means we create one variable which says is it a sedan, yes or no, is it a sports car, yes or no, and finally is it a family van, yes or no. So before we had one variable, now we have three variables which are dichotomous and therefore have only two characteristics. And these three new variables can be used in our regression model now. So what does that mean for your data preparation now? You originally have one column with the vehicle type where the individual vehicles from your sample are listed. The first is a sedan, the second is also a sedan, the third is a sports car and so on and so forth. Out of this table you create your new three variables now. So the question is what is the first car? Is it a sedan? So you put a 1 here and a 0 for the other cars. Because it is not a sports car and it is not a family van. The second car is also a sedan. So we'll put a 1 here and the third one is a sports car. So we'll put a 1 in the column sports car and the 0 for the other car types. So with this procedure we finally formed our dummy variables. Now there is still one important thing to note. The number of dummy variables formed is always the number of characteristics minus 1. With these two variables 
we have the whole information and we do not need a third variable. If we know that sedan is 1, we also know that family van is 0. And if we know that sedan is 0 and sports car is 0, we know that family van is 1. And now I will show you how you can create the dummy variables online with DataTab. In order to do this, please visit datadap.net and click on the statistics calculator. If you want to use your own data, just click on clear table. I will use the example data now. Further, if you want to perform a regression analysis, you choose the tab regression. On the left side, you can choose your dependent variable. On the right side, you can choose your independent variables. For our example, we use salary as the dependent variable. And for the independent variables, we choose age and place of residence. Place of residence has three characteristics. Age is metric. If we scroll down now, we can already see the results of the linear regression. And in this table, you can see that DataTab automatically creates the dummy variables for you. So we have the place of residence, which has three characteristics, and we can see that two dummy variables are created. These two dummy variables are Chicago and New York. If your dependent variable is categorical and you want to perform a regression, you need to calculate a logistic regression. If you want to find out what a logistic regression is, just check out my next video. See you soon!